I think this is uh, one of the most important things that I do. Um, first of all, they're, they're girls, so I still don't take for granted the fact that, um, that they should know that they can do whatever they want. So weighing all the evidence, I find, first, that Senor Magellan is not guilty of the charge of being a bad captain. <laughs> She's asking you a pretty tough question, um, but you can think about how you're a witness for the defense and you're the king of Spain. I'm proud of them. They died as heroes for Spain. So we are on the train and we're going to the court in Manhattan to put Ferdinand Magellan slash Essence on trial. He killed people. He made people eat rats. You're not supposed to do that to a person because it's a person, because they're a human being. And human beings are created equal. In real life, I did not see the but I have to do my All rise. Everything about this day for them has to be memorable. They get on a train, they get to speak out loud in a courtroom, they get to see the results of all of their hard work. You have heard the prosecutor explain the leadership of my client Magellan, but by the end of this case you will agree that Magellan is not guilty. Why do you think it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? When injustice remains and there are inequalities in the society that exist as a result of things that happened in the past that we now know are wrong, we have to continue to try to figure out ways of making up for that. And who, which witness is this? The Pope. This is the Pope. Okay. Your Holiness, would you please stand up and raise your right hand? How did you get to court today? Did you sail? I took the train. You took the train. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being king? The money. The money. <laughs> tell the truth. You have to tell the truth. You had a special supply of food that you kept just for you. Correct. Correct. You can't blame Magellan for everything bad that ever happened in history. Magellan is a hero. The, the defense rests his case. All right, thank you very much. Let's have ladies take a seat. Um, but I love being a judge. I think it's I think it's the best job because first of all because I get to do stuff like this, but I get to help people. Um, and I and I kind of think I always knew I wanted to be a lawyer. You know why? Because I really like arguing with people. <laughs> <laughs> Only television judges use gavels. Why? why don't I need a gavel? What do I have instead of a gavel? These are the best days when we do this. Um, I think it's so important for these girls, um, I think, to actually see a grown-up uh, woman uh, in a position like this. Where these girls come from, the neighborhoods that they live in, um, and what they see in their day-to-day -day lives contrasted with the experience they have in school, um, you just can't reinforce enough um, the messages of continuing to work toward um, uh, empowerment for women and equality. There are just so many good things about it from my perspective. Um, I could just do this all the time.